every single time we're up here, we're kind of able to e either like hear them a little bit or they're just flying around on the scaffolding, on the trees here and around kind of the residing buildings. You kind of see them everywhere. Um, you can kind of hear them now, they get louder. Yeah. Oh, there they come. Oh. When we first noticed the parrots, we genuinely just thought they were like, a, like an average parakeet or an average parrot that you see. Hong Kong have the critically endangered yellow-crested cockatoos from Indonesia and East Timor. There's only 2,000 remaining of the yellow-crested cockatoos in the wild, and in Hong Kong we almost have 200 individuals. So we have one of the largest cohesive remaining wild populations. Back in 2018, 2017, we were observing about 10 nest cavities every season that were active with chicks inside. But now I only know of a handful, three or four, that are active this season. We give them one stick for chewing. We'll put this camera on the top of the box when the cockatoo gets inside here, it will trigger the camera trap and then we can collect the data. We need these nest boxes to provide them somewhere to reproduce that is safe and that is not going to be removed for public safety or affected by typhoons, etc. I think we need a crackdown. And if you want to protect a species so unique in this environment, I think a lot of things need to fall into place. Hong Kong's population could actually have genetic lineages that are now gone in Indonesia. And that's why it could be functioning as a genetic reservoir or a backup population for the wild Indonesian counterparts. And in the future, we may possibly have individuals here that could help rescue and revive the populations in the native range. Mm -hmm.